how to connect to external data sources explained in the user manual here in external data sources and you need to connect to an external data source before you populate template, uh, template content from a database and that is also explained here quite extensively but of course it is always more interesting to do than to read so we are going to do that just now okay now we're going to go to our template and edit it and we are going to connect to a database all right our database connection today is access as we previously defined our table is movies and we're going to populate the singer column where column ID hmm, sorry populate singer sorry where the ID and we have to set this to zero All right. Is the event ID event ID being this column here in our playlist? Very good. Click OK. And here it builds us a custom SQL query for those of us who are not experts in the field. We just want to remove the quotes here because that would indicate a string. We don't want that. And we're setting it to item one right here. This is our tab field. Click OK. Now you'll see this goes blank because it's no longer populated. All right. Now we have a new template name. This needs to correspond to what is associated with the primary event. In our case, it's bug on. Click OK. There we go. Now we can import our playlist. So this is yellow. Please hold while your request is being processed. And no surprises. Of course, it was successful. And if we look at our playlist and at our primary event, we see here that Nirvana is the singer. It's as easy as that.